now we come to a time when we're only 25,000 years ago, and the last glacier is entering Illinois. This glacier we call the Wisconsin Glacier, and it changed Illinois profoundly, but it didn't cover that much of Illinois. The Wisconsin Glacier covered only about the northeast quarter of Illinois. It got down to Charleston in the south. It got over near Bloomington in the west, in the middle of Bureau County, and up in the north, it reached the area of Harvard, Illinois. So it got no further than that, but it made profound changes in Illinois. The Wisconsin Glacier piled up big moraines to leave a record of its coming. And it made some major changes, too, in other ways. The water washing off of the Wisconsin Glacier, melting out of the Wisconsin, with the water melting out of the Wisconsin Glacier helped fill the ancient Mississippi with sand and gravel, blocking its path and forcing the Mississippi out to where it is today. The Mississippi finally changed course, apparently permanently, during this time. Forced out here, it carved itself a new channel that it has followed ever since. Now, what did Illinois look like at that time? What was Illinois like during this time, during the time of the last glacier, the Wisconsin Glacier, 25, 20,000 years ago or so? Well, Illinois was an Arctic landscape, tundra covered parts of Illinois. Forests of small spruce trees covered Illinois. And herds of mammals, large and small, covered, wandered through Illinois. Illinois was a landscape of Arctic tundra, spruce forests, and herds of elephants, mammoth, and mastodons and other strange creatures that lived in Illinois until just a few thousand years ago.